Oh, it's been absolutely amazing to have such an international clientele, not just our Australian colleagues join us today. And we're really enthused about being able to share that spirit of collaboration, which is everything that this Tri and Bogaroo precinct is about. We really hope that the delegates go home knowing that they can come to Queensland, partner at every stage from their preclinical discovery journey all the way through to commercial manufacturing, through the clinic, and then also leverage some of the R&D tax credit benefits as well. There's a significant amount of infrastructure in hospitals and medical research institutes, in education around universities, that's all going to be within a 12 minute travel time, you know, by 2026 when Cross River Rail opens. I think that it's clear from today that Bogo Road is on the journey to become one of Asia Pacific's leading translational life science precincts. It's a great example of a working collaboration. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'd like the delegates to leave today knowing about One Terai where clinicians come together with researchers and industry companies. The linkages between globally recognised researchers, clinicians across at the hospital and also the industry partners we have in TRI, this is what really makes this place work. It's been fantastic to get that intersection of academia, industry, both domestic and international, to take them through what Bogo Road is today and then what it will be over the next couple of decades, the role that we as QIC play and the role all the stakeholders will play in, in bringing that to fruition. And there's a lot of precincts we compete against globally that are conceptual. This is tangible and it's been around for nearly a decade, so for industry especially to see it in practice and then talk about the next steps it's the proof they need to see when they come down to you know, make an investment decision, why here versus Melbourne, Sydney or, or somewhere internationally.